Welcome to multiple choice question 9 of the 2007 Mathematical Methods Exam 2. In this video we will be looking at the solution for this question. A reminder that this video is in no way endorsed by VCAR. And now before we move on, I'd just like to point out that the use of CAS is an efficient way to approach this question. The question could of course be solved without CAS, however this would waste precious time in a technology active examination. So for question 9 we have let k equal negative the integral between 1 and 2 of 1 on x with respect to x and we are asked if that is the case then e to the power of k is equal to one of the following options. And I'd just like to point out this question has been adapted for the 2016 study design so it has been slightly modified so that we can do it from 2016 onwards. On the CAS calculator go into the main menu. Next what we want to do is we want to type in the integral. So we want negative and then using keyboard and math 2 we can find the integral symbol and we want to go from a lower terminal of 1 to an upper terminal of 2 for the function which is 1 divided by x and that is with respect to x. So hitting execute that's our value of k. So from the calculator we found that k must then equal negative ln or log e of 2 so therefore, when we want to evaluate e to the power of k, that's the same as calculating e to the power of negative ln of 2. And now on the calculator, e to the power of k is just e to the power of that answer. And hitting execute, we find that that is equal to 1 half. And the calculator quickly tells us that that is equal to 1 half. So that means that option e is the correct answer for this question. So from the examiner's report, we can see that three quarters of students managed to get that question correct. So it was reasonably well done in this exam. And now if you'd like to continue watching, you'll be able to see how to complete this question by hand, as this is the type of question that could come up on a technology free exam as well. So we have exactly the same question, but this time we'll approach it by hand and you'll also see why it's more efficient to use the CAS calculator. So first of all, if k is equal to negative the integral of 1 to 2 of 1 over x with respect to x, that means we could evaluate that as negative the antiderivative, so 1 on x becomes log e of x. So hopefully you can look that up on your formula sheet if you're not sure. And that's still evaluated between 1 and 2. So that means that we could take the antiderivative at 2 and subtract away the antiderivative at 1 to evaluate this integral. But we also have this extra negative symbol out the front. So that means there's still a negative here with brackets around all of that. And if you wanted to, you could then expand the negative through. So this would be the same as positive f of 1 subtract f of 2. And now f of 1 would simply be the antiderivative log e of x with 1 substituted into it. So we'd have log e of 1, subtract, and then f of 2 would be log e of 2. And we know that log e of 1 is simply 0. And we also know that we could take a constant that multiplies a log term up into the power. So we can move that negative 1 out the front to up the top. So therefore, we can write k is equal to log e of 2 to the power of negative 1, which is a half. So therefore, e to the power of k, which is actually what we were asked to find overall, is going to equal e to the power of log e of 1 half. And here we can remember that e and log e are inverse functions, so composing one with the other just cancels them out essentially. So that means that this is just equal to whatever's inside the log, which is a half. And that is the same answer as what we got before using the calculator. So that's how we could complete this question by hand, and also a good realization of how effective it is to use a calculator for questions like this.